welcome back and uh, thanks for sticking with me into what I'll probably call uh, Road to Glory episode 8.2 uh, as Share Factory on my PS4 said I'd made too many video edits um, so we've got a second part of this week's video um, we were up 2-1 at the break and uh, into the second half my opponent pulls one back uh, sorry for the long episode, but I wanted to show some actual FIFA gameplay in the FIFA game rather than just trading and um, opening my icon edition packs and stuff. Um, but maybe in future videos I'll show a game instead, um, a bit more of one game. Um, so we get a draw there against Boa, and uh, the next up is Lee FC who's got a Ligue 1 French League team um, apart from his uh, on loan Diego Costa up front and um, pretty early on Alessandrini nicks it there and uh, passes it into Ben Yedda and that was the only goal of the first half um, as I probably said in previous videos um, I'm rotating between two teams so that I don't have to pay for fitness and injury cards um, some people prefer to stick with one team so they know it inside and out. Um, I don't mind rotating, especially at this time of the year when there's lots of players around the same sort of standard. Um, get to try a lot of different players um, and save a lot of coin on um, fitnesses and injuries and stuff. So um, we're back to my French team here. And uh, we take a loss against Lee FC. Uh, lost 3-1 in Division 10, which was a bit disappointing. So into the final game of the week then, um, we come up against MSV Duisburg. Um, with a, uh, I think it was a Kelsio A team, wasn't it? I wasn't really watching. So I'm back onto my uh, Portuguese and Kelsio A team, and that's a lovely turn there by uh, Gelson Martinez and uh, automatically I ended up going into the dab so I'm sure my opponent wasn't very happy about that um, but he managed to come back with uh, a header there by Perisic and then I'm guessing the dab upset him because he proceeded to foul, try and foul me for the rest of the game um, and then he took the lead and ran over to the camera so uh, and started watching other replays, which um, may be my fault first for uh, dabbing on him accidentally. Um, but I managed to come back. Elia Nusi, I brought on a sub at half time, and that inform Elia Nusi is so cheap and so good. He's absolutely deadly. Um, but you can see here how my opponent is just constantly trying to foul me off the ball so he doesn't get a uh, free kick or yellow card against him. Um, but I jump onto uh, his goalkeeper's long throw and uh, managed to get back into the lead there with a bit of a screamer and um, I was so triggered I did a shush and a run to camera back at him um, after uh, all his uh, fouling attempts. You can see him sliding in constantly, um, which he wasn't doing to begin with, so I don't think it's because he's a bad player. I think it's uh, a tactic he was using. But Nanny gets through there and makes it 4-2. And uh, at this point I thought I'd won it. But uh, I can see the penalty in the 78th minute. Um, I think I uh, try and put him off and stand still. And uh, he finishes that fine. But that's how it finishes 4-3. And we win the title. My opponent wasn't able to come back. Um, I made uh, bank from the marquee matchups this week, uh, as you can see here um, on the screen. The reward packs were not very good, but the players were selling for hugely inflated prices, um, like Ipswich and Norwich players and Feyenoord players, um, Timbers and Whitecaps as well. Um, I spent some coins on two more one to watch cards. I bought Toliso and Douglas Costa so that I could fit them into my teams while I was waiting for their prices to rise. Um, Douglas Costa wasn't a regular in the 
Juventus team, so it might be a while before he uh, gets a chance of an inform. Um, this week I changed my team a fair bit. Uh, you'll see coming up in the next few weeks videos. Um, on screen, lots more sales from the marquee matchups. And uh, I think we'll end the video here. So thanks very much for watching and uh, hope to, for you to join me in Motor Glory Part 9. Thank you.